A Florida woman's passion for photography inspired her to make a difference in her community. Portraits for progress. With everything that's been going on in our world lately, I started thinking about what I can do to make a difference. That's when photographer Andy Diamond turned to her camera. I think it's created something really powerful, much more powerful than I thought it was going to be. She shot portraits for progress over multiple days, using her Facebook to put the word out that she wanted to give people a space to safely share their concerns and their fears. And over the course of just 24 hours, about 70 people answered her call. Individuals, couples, families, um, black, white, straight, gay, just all different walks of life. Giving them a platform to say what's on their mind, Diamond wants this to resonate with everyone in the community. My inspiration really is that it just helps people to kind of look within themselves, maybe look a little bit at your own prejudice that you may not realize that you're carrying. Hoping these portraits can be the start of some progress. Really, the wall itself is Malice Green as a monument, but it's paying tribute to all that we could fit onto the wall. There are names of black and brown people killed by police. Muralist Sidney James says there's around a thousand. I painted that that piece, that wall, with my full heart and soul, like every bit of me. Like I had to make it look beautiful because it's so ugly. Malice Green is holding the scroll. In 1992, Green was killed by two white Detroit police officers. The original Malice Green mural by Benny White was demolished several years ago. This one is on Hamilton near Puritan Street. It kind of came through me, but it's not mine. It belongs to like everybody who views it. We're gonna finish with something sweet, something very sweet. It's good to know.